Ha ha ha! I've got the proof. Uber Eats hides tips. Anything over eight dollars, there's a chance it could be a hidden tip. How did I discover that? Let me show you. Look at this. I got the trip request, and it was for package delivery on Uber Eats. And this is from Vaughn, so it's a grocery store. The offer was thirteen oh seven. Guess what? They give you the receipt inside the store for everything that the customer orders. That's right, and right there on the paper, as you can see here, the customer tipped twenty dollars. What do you think of that? That is the proof. There's no guessing, nothing. After I dropped off the order,、um, immediately it did the payout of twenty five oh seven, and you can see here on the screenshot where the base pay is five oh seven, and then the customer tip is twenty. So there was no time for the customer to contemplate my performance and reduce or increase the tip. He had already planned to do it well in advance. Because if you think about it, right, the store has to go in and pull all those groceries and print the order and say it's ready to go before they call the driver. So this puts to rest the concept that. Customers can or do, or maybe they do. Maybe they change their tips. Maybe they don't. But in this case, this is absolute proof. No guesswork on what happened with this transaction. Now you may say, "Who cares, Ross? Who cares?" Thanks for sharing this great information. Well, you know, it's not earth-shattering, but anything that gives some transparency to Uber Eats and the other gig economy companies is helpful. So before I've seen online, and、um, you know, you've, I'm sure you've heard it before. DoorDash hides tips, and Uber Eats as well. And there were several YouTubers out there that have made videos related to this topic on Uber Eats about a year ago. Yeah, so there's several videos here. If you scroll back and search for Uber Eats hiding tips,、uh, Jacob Warren, Driven Wild,、uh, Driving Addict, Fritz Morris. Um, so there's been several. This isn't a new topic, but what is new is that I have absolute proof, and I'm thankful that I can bring that to you today. Now, again, who cares, right? Well, let me tell you why you should care a little bit. So the food delivery companies they want to entice us to deliver their orders for as little money as possible, and so by hiding the tip, they're probably thinking that this will keep、uh, cherry pickers from thriving. You know that could be someone who just sits around, and I won't take any orders until that fifty-dollar payout comes in. That's the concept of cherry picking. On the other extreme would be the driver as an independent contractor that just takes every single order, whether it's good for the driver or not. So in this case, you don't want to ask what's good for the company. You want to ask what's good for me. This just sheds light on the concept. Am I for or against it? You know, it's not really up to me, but I would be very excited to see what we're going to get tipped up front. The area that I find most interesting with this is that the customer may or may not change their tip afterwards. A lot of people hold out hope that on the no tip orders, that the customer is going to recognize just how great you are and give you a tip, or And I would say this is a rare situation where you do a good job, and then the customer increases your tip because of that service. We couldn't really ever prove that before, and previous YouTubers have、uh, just shared their thoughts. You know, you can't prove something, but when you have a pattern of several deliveries where the tip max was eight dollars, and then miraculously they get a higher tip afterwards, so this puts that. Theory to rest. I did have absolute proof on this, and I'm glad that I got to bring this to you today. Another thing to consider: we want to work hard and earn our money. And I have found the longer that I work for the various gig economy companies, is unfortunately they really don't care about us. And you would hope that they would want to always give as much information as possible. That way, we can make an informed decision. So when they hide the tip, and you know probably it's due to、uh, cherry picking, and they're trying to slow that down to where most drivers take all the orders, if not most of them, it still gives you a little peek behind the curtain. If they're willing to do this, what other information are they willing to hide from us or not give us? So it's something to think about. 
do these gig economy companies, and that's all of them, do they care about you? And is that something where then you should give them your loyalty? These are just some questions to ponder. I personally try to work for as many apps as possible. That way I can keep busy making money. Because if I'm just sitting in my car like right now making this video, I'm not making money delivering food. So by multi-apping, I can take and have a choice of whatever comes up on the variety of gig apps. So that's something that you should think about as well. I hope you've gotten a real kick out of this proof today. I previously made a video also tip related and this was for DoorDash and I found that we weren't getting tips from Vaughn's and Michael's deliveries. Has that changed? Well, consider watching that video next and I'll see you there. All right, take care.